up, friends and family from around the world? This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 31st, 2024. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Can't believe we're already almost in August. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. Multiple plasma fil filaments spinning around the southern hemisphere of the sun, also reporting Two more pretty strong M-class solar flares. Multiple sunspot regions Earth-facing right now, and one of them is potentially going to release an X-flare Earth-facing. So please stay aware and prepared. Stay tuned to this channel. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, pretty strong sunspot region coming in and still firing away. Looking at outgoing here. Active sunspot regions with multiple sunspots and coupled And one of them is set to put on quite a show here over the next 12 hours. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Especially the strong M-class coming around. And plasma filaments. We want to keep an eye on those as they are stretching across the surface. Equatorial and a coronal hole. Diminished a little bit, but there is a coronal hole in the southern hemisphere right now. Looking at the last two days, we've seen six M-class solar flares and one X-class solar flare. Solar Cycle 25 putting on quite a show already, and thank you so much for being a part of it. Having a look here as we have nine sunspots that are Earth-facing. Having a look at those sunspot regions in motion. Particularly watching that one as it quickly scoots across the surface. Amazing images here of many black holes on our sun. Space weather conditions right now. We are under R2 moderate radio blackout impacts expected. And as well, G2 moderate geomagnetic storms. Minor impact on satellite operations are possible. Visible at high altitudes, high latitudes, as far south as New York and Idaho possible. Solar winds are right now are coming in at 480 kilometers per second up from yesterday. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, two long duration M-class solar flares today. And multiple, well, actually there's been eight M-class solar flares in the past two days and an X-class, so... Correction there. Geomagnetic activity is arising as we are expecting the rest of this new solar storm. And having a look at the solar storms in action here. Space Weather Prediction Center with a sped up spiral. Little green circle is Earth on the right hand side. This all started back on the 27th. And all of it now arriving. Having a look at the current ISWA space prediction spiral. This is the most recent CME being detected and forecasted out towards Mars. Having a look at LASCO 3, let's have a look at when all this started back on the 27th. Halo coronal mass ejections brought to you by plasma filament eruptions and as well solar flares. Solar cycle 25, which is a maximum, will be inducting the solar influx to our atmosphere and to every other planet that is in our solar system over the next 11 years. Solar storms like this could be even larger coming up. So heads up and thanks for being here. Let's have a look at tonight's Aurora forecast and tomorrow's strong tonight as far south as parts of northern Ontario. And as well, South Dakota, but very strong up in BC, Alaska, Northwest Territories. And this is for tomorrow night. Having a look at the highest frequency affected here. This is throughout the day today, just over the last 12 hours. Big pulse there right over the Central America. Wow. Friends and family, we are charged up and we are shaken. 
Let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours. We're going to start out here with a pretty deep earthquake. Lavuka, Fiji, 619 kilometer depth. So the deep earthquakes continue throughout this region. Another 600 kilometer depth, but 5.7. And that is the largest earthquake the past 24 hours. Kermadec Trench, beyond watch and down towards New Zealand. 5.1 magnitude today and as well 4.9 south of Fiji Islands. We could see something bigger coming there or more likely I am thinking towards Alaska. Lots of continual activity at the Big Island in the Central Pacific. And then look at all this new activity across the Aleutian Islands and into Alaska. Yakutat, Alaska 4.7, 15 kilometer depth. And as well, all through the Aleutian Islands here, Rat Islands, Attu Station. Let's have a look at USGS as they're reporting 252 earthquakes the last 24 hours. Quick glance here across Anchorage area of Alaska. And then through the Aleutian Islands, minor seismicity, but... Notable areas, Nova Rupta volcano, multiple, multiple dormant and active volcanoes throughout this region. And we haven't seen a large eruption through this area or a large earthquake for quite some time. So my friends and family, just be ready because if there's a large earthquake in Alaska, we've got some serious project problems across the Pacific. Having a look here, Highland Park reporting a 2.2 earthquake, Los Angeles, California. Right across the ridge line here, Fontana, from Malibu to Fontana. Other than that, no major swarms to talk about. Minor seismicity north of Lake Tahoe, Pacific Northwest. Continual activity, minor at best, but even towards Mount St. Helens, Mount Baker, and Mount Rainier. Also, some minor seismicity being reported here. New Jersey, Califon, New Jersey. And as well through the New Madrid, Inglewood, Tennessee. And look at that ridge line. That is the, the New Madrid, folks. Not too many people know about this large fault line. But it stretches right across the east coast of North America. As you can see here, this is showing the hazards across North America, where most of the earthquakes occur, and as well, where fault lines are. Looking across the West Coast, you can see all those areas in red, high hazard areas. This is where we see most of the earthquakes. USGS, this is reporting the last 24 hours for earthquakes across North America. Let's just have a look at the last seven days. Notable there through Tennessee, right up into Maine, all across California and up into Idaho and into Washington, and even further up into the Juan de Fuca Plate. Look at all this new activity. This is the last now 30 days for earthquakes around the world. Largest being the 6.4 earthquake that occurred here off the coast of British Columbia, Tofino, Canada. Having a look across Alaska. Look at all these earthquakes, folks. Something's brewing in Alaska. especially through the Aleutian Islands. The last largest earthquake through the region was 6.0 in Nikolskoy, Alaska. Much love, everybody, and heads up. If you live in an earthquake-prone zone or all across the West Coast, just be ready and know what to do when we could quite possibly see a very large earthquake. This is a look at the last seven days around the globe for all you flat earthers out there. Thanks for watching. Much love and heads up, Pacific Northeast.
of the Pacific Ocean, Pacific Northwest, and North America. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.